We are officially in March, which means spring is here. And I thought in today's video, we would do something a little bit different and refresh my apartment for the springtime. Hi everyone, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel. Like I said, we're gonna do a spring refresh. We're gonna make some swaps for some of my decor that's around my apartment for things that were either thrifted or new to bring in a little bit more of that spring-like feel to lighten things up a little bit. And I'm very excited to say that I am partnering with the FabFit Fun Box for this video. There'll be a fun unboxing a little later on, but I just wanna get right in and start decorating the space. So let's head to the entryway. My entryway already had some pretty good spring vibes going on with that wallpaper that I installed a couple months back and I'm still loving it, but I wanted to make a couple simple swaps to bring in a more spring-like feeling. You'll see me placing these little birds in my space. They were my grandma's and she gave them to me and I thought this would be the perfect time to use them throughout my space because nothing says spring more like birds and you'll kind of see that as a little theme popping up throughout this makeover. I think spring is the perfect time to start lightening up all of your decor, from, especially from the winter where you want everything to feel warm and cozy. And a really great way to do that is by adding in florals or spring-like motifs. I love this little basket with the faux greenery in it. And also I made this lavender wreath around this time last year. And I think these just few sw simple swaps really livened up this entryway. Moving on to the living room, this end table needed a little bit of a clean and spring is definitely the perfect time to do a thorough clean of your apartment. And so I wiped down the surface, really cleaned it off from everything that got set there from the entryway when I walk in the door. And then I placed this cane tray and a little faux plant on top. I made the tray in a past thrift flip video and it just works perfectly in the space. Now I did just give my living room a makeover, so I didn't want to do a whole bunch of changes. I swapped out this heavier throw blanket it for a lighter one that I got from Ikea a couple years back and just repositioned the pillows, fluffed them up and made them look nice again. But I still loving these throw pillows and all of the decor elements that I put in during my living room makeover. If you haven't yet checked that out, I'll be sure to link that in the description box, but I just wanted to make a few simple changes in this space. Over here on my little floating shelf, I just swapped out the taper candles for these fun blue ones. I thought it would be a fun way to add a pop of color, something a little bit different, especially because blue plays very well into my living room. And this tree was a little Christmas tree-y shaped, so I put in these faux flowers, and I think this was a really cute way to bring some florals in for spring. Now moving over to my coffee table, it definitely needed a good wipe down, so I did that first. And then I just love bringing in real florals any time of year, but springtime especially. So I picked up some various greenery and little sprigs of flowers from the grocery store and started my own floral arrangement. I will admit, I don't think I'm an expert floral arranger. There's just some sort of disconnect between DIYing and arranging florals for me. But what I found is it is just a little bit of trial and error, rearranging things until you get exactly what you're hoping for. And in the end, I was really happy with how this looked. I then placed my coffee table books back on the table and this cute brass candle snuffer that I actually found at an antique store. I had been looking for a candle snuffer to style on my coffee table and this one was absolutely perfect. Overall, you could see like the pops of blues, the different fun plays with florals in the space. And it just was a couple small changes to really lighten up the feeling. It still feels kind of like my original makeover, but with a couple little touches to brighten up my day when I walk in and see the little bit of spring in the space. Fit 
Fun sent me their spring box and it's also part of their anniversary celebration and I'm so excited to see what they sent and I thought I'd give you my genuine reaction to opening this. I've never received a box before but I've heard great things about them so I'm really excited to see what new products I am receiving. We'll start with the first thing on top that's all bright and colorful. It is a really cool towel mat that you use for a beach trip. This is so cute and I think it would be great for a picnic. I am really excited about this. These are cute. <laughs> Look at this. They're like little berry dishes. They're so cute. I like those. I'm really excited to see this one. This was one that I requested and I'm hoping they're really cute. Those are adorable. <laughs> I like these. FabFitFun is celebrating its 10th birthday with this spring box. It's a customizable seasonal box with full-size beauty, fashion, fitness, and home products sent to you once per season. Oh, this is cute. Look at it. it matches the theme of the box. It's got little cupcakes on it. It is a lip mask. Oh, that smells really pretty. I like that. And now while I'm refreshing my apartment for the springtime, what I love about the FabFitFun box is that I can also refresh little parts of my life too. I'm so excited to try out these new products all season long and really all year round. And it's so much fun to try things that maybe I wouldn't think of buying at the store or finding a brand new favorite. And I'm really happy with all the products I received. And now this, I wonder what this is. I can tell, it's sunglasses. <laughs> I am really excited to see what these look like. I really wanted this. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> these are awesome. I don't know what I look like right now, but I hope they're cute because I really liked them. <laughs> they're really cute Kate Spade sunglasses and I was so excited when I saw these. <laughs> FabFitFun is a membership program with over 1 million members and you can choose to get a one-time box when you sign up or receive a new box every season for a year. It is a great way to try new products and save money when doing it because all of the goodies in your box can be up to a $300 value, but you can get your box for just $47.99 using my promo code, actually Ally, for 20% off your first box. You can find a link and promo code in the description box now let's get back into the styling and see how I use some of my new products in my apartment. Now moving on to the dining room, I'm placing two placemats on the table, but to make them look like a runner, just to style it up for a really lovely tablescape. I placed a couple plates down on the table just to create this table setting for two and I think it's just a really sweet way to decorate and make a nice presentation, especially for brunch. I also picked up some pinkish tone napkins and these rattan napkin rings and placed one on each of the plate. I think it's just a really nice touch to do something like that. And of course, I had to place these brand new glasses that I got from the FabFitFun box because they are gorgeous and I am in love with them. Such an easy way to make changes in your decor for the springtime is by swapping out your artwork. You saw me make these pieces back in my last video where I did some DIY art. They don't really fit very well for the springtime, so I swapped them out with some prints that I found on Etsy and hung them up on the wall. And as you can see here, I'm going for the floral theme once again, but with those pops of pink in the dining room, just because I love pink in the springtime, I think it's just a really fun way to add a little bit of color. I've seen more color for the spring trends this year, which I am just loving. Over on my craft cabinet, I turned on my little DIY accent lamp I made a couple videos back and thought I would try something a little bit different for the decor here. So I've been thrifting some brass candlesticks. As you know, I love brass, especially brass candlesticks. And I thought it would be cute to make an arrangement with them on the one corner, styling them up with some white taper candles, keeping this side a little bit more neutral because I have so many pops of colors as the focal point of the room. And I really love how that looks. And then my shelf over here on this wall honestly gets so neglected. I basically built these shelves just to have a place to put my pothos right there, which you can see has 
really grown. I will pop a picture on the screen of what it looked like when I first got it. I love this plant. So I thought I would just change up style around it. So you see I'm kind of replacing some of the decor that was already there, but actually giving it a bit of an arrangement. And I also placed another one of those little birds from my grandma on the shelf because it is just so cute and it fits with the theme that's been going on here for the springtime. I'm just loving bringing in the pink for the springtime. It's just making me really happy to do something like this. And it was just fun to really give this space a little bit more of a transformation than I typically would. And I'm really happy with the dining room and also enjoyed a really lovely lunch at the table with that cute table setting that I made. Now moving on to the kitchen, I have this random little counter above the sink that I guess you could put bar stools there, but I just don't need something like that. So I'm just doing a couple simple decor swaps. I love this little tea towel that I've had for a really long time. It has a nice pink stripe on it. So continuing with that pink theme. I also placed this vase, which is again in the pink color family and these faux florals, which I just love it. I'm just loving all the florals for the springtime. And here is the final bird that I am placing. It just looks so cute in this basket. And then I'm switching out my wax warmer for a more spring-like scent. Now into the kitchen, I also just did a refresh of the kitchen a couple months ago, but I have been having some things that haven't been working for me, like this utensil holder. So I swapped that one out. It's a lot bigger. The utensils fit in it so much better. It just is a much better solution for grabbing utensils because they were just getting stuck every time that I was using them. I also just was in need of new oven mitts and pot holders, and I found these really cute ones at Target with the floral pattern on them. And while I was at it, I also had a coordinating tea towel that I put on the oven door. Once again, I wanted to do some swaps of the artwork. This art works perfectly for spring, but I wanted to bring in something a little bit different that would maybe even work into the summer months. The one is a little bit more moody, so it matches with the dark counters and the moodiness in the space, but the other one brings in a little bit of that added lightness that I wanna bring in for spring. And overall, these swaps were just so simple and easy. It's not like I made some sort of major transformation right here, but it just helps better for some functionality. And also this tea towel is adorable and I love it so much. And then there's the art prints, which I am just in love with. I love how the dark print contrasts with the lighter print. It just came out so well. And I love how a few simple swaps can make a huge difference anywhere in your home. I hope you're enjoying this video and I also hope that you got a little bit of some inspiration about how you can make some simple swaps around your home or apartment for the springtime. Once again, don't forget that I have that promo code for 20% off your first FabFitFun box that is linked in the description box. And if you wanna check out more videos like this one, then I have those linked on the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.